I am Dr. Cool. Welcome back to another video. In this very video edition here, I'm gonna be bringing one comeback which I spoke about previously in my channel about someone which is making a headline in Nigeria. However, there is a plot twist to that very narrative and today I'm gonna be shining more light to it so that you can know exactly where this movement is going. Without wasting your time, let's get started. About three months ago, I talked about a Nigerian guy from a Bonyi state that is changing the game and his name is Zico Abala. Zico is the guy, the Tony Stark of Nigeria who decided to build a turbo jet engine. This is something the West never thought is possible for Africa. Why is this very important? Because when Africa decided to innovate, when Africa decided to do something that the established norms have actually thought is impossible or scoffs at, it changes narrative. And that is what we are here to do, to change our own narrative to tell the world that Africa is not about raw material, that it is the raw brilliance. It is the upper cut to any establishment. We are speaking defiance, not compliance. The time and days of compliance is over. Before I go further, here is the epicenter, the interesting part of this very story, which you will not often find in mainstream media. Why? Because the mainstream media like calling Africa a red zone. The mainstream media like painting Africa to be a consumer that is far back in Stone Age compared to what the West. Uh, but however, there is some kind of narrative which the West are not actually talking about when it comes to Africa. Africa has produced quite a lot of engineers, not just researchers, innovators, inventors that are changing every sector in terms of the automotive, aerospace, science, technology, pharmaceutical, in every walks of life. There has been that signatory of a black man there, but they don't want to show you that. Why? Because when they show you that you are among the leading experts in medicine, in tech, in software development, then you get to understand that there is more to you than meets the eye, that the mainstream media is not telling you. And that is what my channel is all about, to open your eyes to what the programmers, the mainstream media programmers are not telling you because when once you know that, you start realizing the hidden potentials that you have. And for you to fully understand that, 99.9% .9 of what you've been told about that very narrative is false. It will shock you. But that's going to be a story for another day. Because I'm going to take my time to actually explain to you what you don't understand. I think it's very important for you to watch my video on what was African practicing before the European brought their religion? What religion were they practicing? And I trust my instinct that nine and why it was very important for the West to bring their miseducation system and force a religion indoctrination. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you Zico Abala. Zico Abala has decided not just to stop at the turbo engine building the jet engine building, which was actually showcased before Nigerian military. And when I look at that very video there, there was something very concerning about the video that is often overlooked. The look on the faces of the military, Nigerian military, is, is not very exonerating. It is not very, very welcoming. Now, let me ask you one of the most uncomfortable questions which most people often don't ask. For since 1960s to this very day, which is like 65 years more, 
it is rare to come across one individual or two or three that Nigerian government have actually backed successfully to establish themselves in Nigeria. We're talking about tech, innovation, you name them. It is hard to actually count one. And that is not a good one. Because when the youths who are supposed to build the nation are not being backed by government, it sends a very negative signal about how the government doesn't believe in the youth. Now ask me, how exactly is the billions, the zillions that are being borrowed, how are they investing that money into transforming the nation? Be my guest, it vanished. They'll call it corruption, they'll call it different kinds of name. But my point here is, if Nigerian government is not investing, it's no government backing on Nigeria or on Africans that are innovating, that are driving towards changing the narrative of tech, of African innovation, what are they really doing with all those money and resources? So Ziku has decided to build the other face of the jet. And that is a leapfrog which i'm looking at so in this very video which i'm going to be showing to you next is a clip that shows him doing what he knows how to do best so watch this very video i'm going to be back shortly and there is more that i'm going to be telling you that you are not seeing about that very video Gentlemen and ladies, I give you Zico Abana and his team. And well, the reason why I decided to share this very video with you is because this is the epicenter of this innovation. And here, you can see how they are frothing, testing every single prototype of this very jet which they have built from scrap metals. This is the golden opportunity which the West has been refusing Africa from laying its own hands on. This is the golden opportunity which most African leaders never allowed Africa to lay their own hands on. We're talking about where we are schooling and trying to learn how to become an engineer and we instead have been taught that grasshopper have six legs. This is where the moment of the truth unfolds because most African schools are having 99.9% .9 conjectures and theories that doesn't amount to practical. And shockingly, what you don't understand is that most African school writes practical. Did you? get how insane that sounds and we are not given the enabling environment to practicalize what we are studying and here this changes everything do you know what a military man does when he puts on a military uniform did you know what a construction worker does when he puts on his overall did you know what a mechanic does when he puts on a mechanic clothes he become much more of the clothes which he wears and that is where the truth the reality starts on for that is where the theory every spiritual science merge with the physical and Zico is proving that we and not just only ship our raw material or ship it to the west. Okay, but we can I'm certain you'll finish watching the video. Here. What if I told you that it is not only Zico that is actually building the jet fighter? A jet. There are a lot of them. Unsung heroes that are swept under carpet, that are swept under footnotes. 
but we are going to be unveiling these guys one after the other because it is important for us to know them. When we talk about the misdeeds of the geopolitics in Africa, it can't be completely said without us reflecting on the heroes, the unsung heroes that are rewriting the rules because every hero, every innovator that is buried under footnotes, it is the future of Africa that is gradually being buried. And we have to change that. We have to change what we see as technology. We have to transit from the technology that enslaves us to the technology that changes us. We have to change from technology that exploits us, that enslaves us, that chokes us, that just literally sees us as a product to technology that uplifts us, that changes and leapfrogs us. And that is where African tech comes in. That is where African tech boom comes in. However, there is a very good question which I want to leave with you in the comment section. I don't want to make just that decision by myself alone. How do you think that we can contribute into making these guys to become the next Elon Musk, Tony Stark of Africa? Because whether I like it, what affects one individually affect us collectively. And that very question there is what I'm going to be capitalizing on in every video that I'm making concerning Africa because talking about the tech is not enough. I am not here to tell the story because I am part of this change maker whether I like it or not. It's not just about the vlogging or making videos. There are some hidden aspects of my own life which you don't know. I don't want to be the tool that is used to depopulate you to dehumanize you, to exploit you, to keep you chained. I know Africa loves entertainment, but there is a lot that I have to offer than entertainment or news, tech news. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of this very great movement. I am Dr. Ku. And part of those kind of movement which I'm talking about that we are using to change the narrative, if you listen to the music that is playing in the background, it is a practical example of what Hans Zimmer, the most iconic score, music, music uh, movie track producer ever lived. And the piece that is playing on the background is called incredible hope the person who is behind it is africa he, the name of his channel is beyond copyright so if you are a content creator if you are an african uprising that needs uplifting heroic motivational scores like this believe me when i say it's 100 percent free you're not sharing your revenue no copyright strike, no copyright at all. And the name of the channel is Beyond Copyright. So I'll see you there because Africa is rising. And one of the most important part of African rising is you being part of this very movement that is changing everything, that is shutting down the internet as I'm talking to you. If you get left behind, if you fall behind, you get left behind. However, there are ways we can be able to infuse ourselves into this very movement that is changing course, changing trajectory, shifting time, shifting space. Because when once we decide to take the bull by horn, there is nobody on this earth that can stop us. Behind this black skin, lies what is more expensive and precious than gold thank you congratulations that's all i can say to you brother you made it through you became my hope and wonder it's never easy to break through 
When the eyes don't bother But you fall with grace And the pain made you tough Congratulations That's all I can say to you, brother From the hard night's grind To the bright day cover You earn your name, you shine your crown, you flame yeah. I wish you many more wins Change, stay the same The street is full of dirty grit And hustle crimes and make it through Unethically or technically they don't respect you The race is tough, ain't no weather to wait No retreat, no back down In this jungle of survival You either swim or you drown Honesty's the shortest road to poverty That's true, it takes another bone beyond flesh Just to do what you do They don't know how many times you fell a guy cup How many toes you stepped on It was never enough You wanted to aspire To rise above the hate To shine so bright, man Even darkness will wait Behind that hundred smiles Lies a million sweat You skip birthdays Friends made no regrets, refuse pleasure, stay cold to keep the focus tight Cutting ties to seek clearer, chasing purpose through the night mm -hmm. Now you're living proof that dreams don't die easy That pain could turn to diamonds if you grind deeply They saw the glory, never saw the gutter They missed the hunger nights, the bread you couldn't butter You were praying for a way out, they were praying for your fall But you turned the same pain to your armor stood tall You never beg a soul, you never switch your role You stay ten toes down while they were losing control Now the same ones who laugh wanna stand in your frame But where were they when you were hustling through pain? You bled in silence but your roars now loud From the bottom to the top, now you move with the crowd Now the trophies glisten but the scars still talk Every bruise on your body's like a badger To walk the same streets that raised you now Chant your name, you made the impossible No luck, just flame They see a champion, I see a survivor You turned every failure into a driver You carried our hope through the mud and flame You proved success ain't love concerned through pain So when they ask how you made it through the storm Tell them faith and grind, that's the uniform Brother, you did what we dream but can't show Now we scream your name loud, let the whole world know Congratulations, that's all I can say to you, brother You made it through, you became my hope and wonder It's never easy to break through When the eyes don't bother But you fall with grace And the pain made you tougher Stay the same.